Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I put cold things in it, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> ah! Help me. Okay. All right, guys. It's Junie. I'm here to make some doku. And I'm gonna cook some for you guys and for the staff, and hopefully they'll enjoy it. You guys are gonna, you guys are gonna have some. <laughs> Even if you don't want to, you will. <laughs> All right. So first off, we start off with 500 uh, milliliters of this yuksu. This is called yuksu. So it's like a packaged um, beef. Uh, what do you call it? It's like a it's like a soup that is from beef. Beef. Uh, oh, it's beef stock. My bad. What am I saying? And we need uh, 200 milliliters of water. Water. So let's start with the water. This is approximately 500 milliliters, so um, we want to do just like just like that, you know, just like that. Cooking is easy. And let's bring that up. Oh, that's not that's not it. All right, let's bring that up and let's wait until that heats up a little bit, and then we're gonna pour in the water. My hands are uh, clean, by the way. I wash my hands, so don't you worry. And we need a cup full of the beef stock. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> I had no idea. Okay. We need a cup full of that. Are you getting that? Yeah, we're getting that. Look at that. Cup full. Oh my god, you guys are gonna have to um, make sure you clean clean your workspace. That's what I learned in cooking class in high school. Make sure to clean your workspace. And uh, we're gonna wait that, wait for that to boil. What do you call these again? Ladle. Ladle! Thank you, bro. Yes, <laughs> ladle. I'm doing a cooking thing and I don't even know like the, <laughs> the utensils here. Um, just make sure we stir this up. Uh, Leave that. Hopefully it boils before we all die of boredom. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, while we wait, I mean, we can start chopping up these green onions here. Um, I've learned that... I've learned that it's good to... Do this here. Are we, are we getting the shot? Perfect. Okay. What I learned is make sure your fingers need to be very uh, tucked in like that and then you you just just do that go one by one and let let the let the hands do the work just natural movement like so I think I'm doing a good job. Go speed it up a bit, like Ratatouille. All right, that's. Can we? I like I like green onions, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit more. Dude, I'm killing it! Look at that. I'm Gordon Ramsay. I'm just kidding. Don't don't put that in there. <laughs> Nice, in the, in the end, boom. Cause I, I watch a lot of cooking shows and I'm very interested in cooking. And um, just when you're at home, you know, home alone, it's very fun to do that. But um, I never actually made duck in my life, ever. Am I allowed to say that? Oh yeah, yeah. So um, it's my first time and I'm doing it in front of a camera. I'm very smart. It's the right choice, it's the right choice, guys. So, um, oh, this is, it's getting hot. It's getting nice. Uh, we have the tok, the rice cake. So these are uh, usually, they come in uh, very long 
form and uh, what they do is they cut them thinly just like this. Very good. These are ready to go. And also we can't forget these mini dumplings. These are great as well. These are all ready to go. These lovely people, um, you know, prepared this for me. So I don't have to make the rice cake and the dumplings. That would have been like, that would have been like eight hours there already. So, and we do have some minced garlic, which was bought at eShop, E-Mart. E <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is pepper, black pepper, and this is salt. And we're going to be seasoning this later. Um, obviously, the broth and everything is all the stock, uh, the beef stock already has its own flavor. Um, we have some soy sauce, and also this is canola oil, but um, I'm not going to be cooking eggs today. I'm going to be doing a special, different type of way of putting eggs in here. So. Stay tuned for that. We do have these lovely eggs as well. Boom, fresh. And last but not least, we have the seaweed, baked seaweed garnish for the last piece de resistance. And now it's boiling a little bit. We're gonna wait a little bit more. Um, my mom would always tell me, you have to wait, it's not ready. And I'm always just kind of like, oh, it's ready. Just so I see some little bubbles boiling, but it's not, so that's not good enough. You gotta wait a little longer. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Let's see if it's well mixed there. Very nice. I think it's pretty good. It's almost there. So we're gonna do the duck first. Just pour that all in there. And then we're gonna do the dumplings as well. Oh, but it's gotta like... No, we're gonna, we're good. We're good. Let's pour... <laughs> pour dumplings. All right, so half a teaspoon of salt. Oh, it's not open. No, oh, it's not open. <laughs> it's all good. Let's do that. Let's do that here. Like that. Half a teaspoon. Boom. I'm sure this isn't open either. This is open. Oh, he's trying to trick me. Half a teaspoon. Cool. Pepper, great, amazing. And then garlic, we need a full teaspoon. Oh, okay, we'll do half. That's good enough. All right, perfect, we have that in there. Stir this. Oh, this looks great. Wow. I feel like it's gonna be... All right, how about the soy sauce? We have half a teaspoon or a full teaspoon of soy sauce. Half. Awesome. Let that sit there. Give it a nice mix. And once you once you guys stir uh, a little bit, get a feel for the wonton, the, the dumplings I mean, and the, the duck, you're gonna feel it uh, become very soft. And once, once that happens, you just wanna take one out just like that. I just wanna poke it a little bit. <laughs> See if it's, oh, you can tell right now. You can just tell. As soon as you, as soon as you poke it, you can tell 
this is ready. So what I'm gonna do is put that back in there, let this sit a little bit more, and this is gonna be ready very, very soon. So once this happens, we're gonna use this bowl and some eggs. I'm gonna use two eggs today, cause I'm feeling special. Crack two eggs. And uh, let's just, you can just use this spoon and um, just put it, put it to the side like that, just like that and start start beating the eggs until they become one solid color. I used to do this a lot for my mom. Yeah. And it just becomes very, you know, one solid yellow color. Um, I don't like it to be like beaten a lot. So this is pretty good. So what I want to do is while it's boiling, you just want to drip it a little bit like that. Like so. And then when it cooks, it's going to become form this amazing uh, egg uh, thing. <laughs> it's going to taste good along with the duck and the mandu. This actually looks good. I think I'm going to have everything here. Um, taste test, what we want to do, we want a taste test here, so we're going to clean this off. Bro, this is salty. <laughs> when it's salty, you want to put in a little bit more water, okay? Perfect. And then just let that cook a little bit more. Let that sit. Um, and then once that's sitting, now it's time to just clean up your environment, clean up the station. Um, Cause you're gonna, you probably, most likely you made a mess, just like me. Let's put that in there. Get to the side. Always clean up after yourselves. And then, when it's almost done, green onions that you chopped up. Soup. And then bring this broth and just kinda glaze them over. I feel like we're gonna need a little bit more, so um, We're gonna chop a little bit more green onions. Cause these taste, these make it, uh, make the, uh, the soup taste much better. And usually kids don't really like it when I was young. I wouldn't like it when uh, my mom put a lot of green onions on it, but now I do. So I get why. I get my mother's uh, choice of putting a lot of green onions. Hey, it's almost ready. All right, I'm gonna bring the temperature down a little bit. Set it to like 300. No, set it to 200. It was like 460. So now stir it up a little bit. And yeah, I think we're, I think pretty much done, guys. This looks great. First, what you want to do is take the, the dumplings and the duck first and pour them in. Not the broth, don't, don't take the broth yet. Get as much duck and dumplings as you can. That's pretty good enough. And at the end, you get the broth and you bring it all in there. Just like that, like that. I'm gonna turn this off. 
looks great. And now for the end, we have the seaweed. Take a little bit, pinch of it, put on top, and boom! <laughs> oh wait, wait, it's not done yet. And there you have it. So there you have it guys. We just created Toku for the Lunar New Year for everyone to taste test. And um, it's been a blast. It was a great time. The ingredients were very fresh. The tok, the dumplings, Everything was great, perfect. Um, last thing we can do is just uh, do a, a taste test myself, and I'm gonna get everyone to do one and see their honest thoughts. So um, let me get a piece of duck here. And, uh, all right. <laughs> Bro, it's so good. It's actually so good. I'm not even joking, it's actually good. Wait, the dog is perfectly cooked. Let me try the dumplings. Okay. <laughs> All right. There you have it, guys. That was a, it tastes great. It tastes great. I need everyone to try. Um, we're gonna get, <laughs> we're gonna get people to, are you guys gonna try, come and try it here? <laughs> guys, I'm serious. It's actually good. Yeah, let's try it. Let's get some spoons. We got. <laughs> I'll give you a spoon here. You can try one from here because I didn't taste it here. Yeah, I put my spoon in that. So just take, just take anything. It's actually good. Mm. Right? It's actually yeah, perfect. It's actually good, yeah. yeah, it's perfect season. <laughs> there you have it. You heard it here. I killed it. Thank you so much, Everlast Korea. Um, I had a great time. And um, this was Taku made by Juni. <laughs> and uh, you guys can try it yourselves at home for the Lunar New Year. Um, happy New Year to everyone. And hope you are staying safe, happy. And um, yeah, see you very all soon. Cheers. Bye.